The fact is that 70% of the world's population will live in cities within the next 50 years. That's going to mean we need to double the urban capacity of our cities. And to do that and reduce the greenhouse gases coming out of our cities, which are 70 to 80 percent, and to take advantage of the GDP that's driven by those cities, which is again around about 80 percent, we need to have a different way of designing our cities. Designing them in a way that they meet the needs of the public, they are environmentally sustainable, and they have a social and financial fabric that is sustainable. That was the essence of the talk and it looked at the capacity of Melbourne to double its size without increasing its boundaries. The figure I gave was we'd need to build on 7.5% of the metro area to accommodate another 4 million people. And we could do this without impinging on suburbia. I think that's a key message and the way that we do it gives us some insight into what the future could be. I think the most important thing about leadership is people and I know that sounds hackneyed but uh, I think people make that statement and then immediately forget it. In my, my career I've never had one day's management training. I believe my job as a manager is to make it important for people to get out of bed in the morning and want to come to work. And that means you need to understand what motivates people why they will feel that they're involved and they're contributing. And if you can do that, and you can make people engage in their work and something they want to do and enjoy doing, you'll have not only a, a satisfied workforce, but you'll have people that contribute far greater than they would if they weren't engaged. So I think people are the key to leadership. I think the other thing that's important is communication. I've been accused of socialising ideas. Socialising ideas is really a way of talking about issues that are important to communities today and trying to get people to understand and engage with them. And I think leadership is about a conversation. It's about community engagement. And if we can do that, I think we get better results in the long term. Well, I think the reason I come back every year to Williamson uh, and the reason I, I possibly do maybe 30 or 40 of these talks a year, is that it is about uh, having a conversation around the ideas that I think are important. I don't for a moment profess to knowing all the answers, but one of the ways I learn is by entering into a dialogue with people. And this afternoon in my presentation, I mostly learnt as much from the questions I was getting back as to where people's minds are and their concerns are, as the information I was giving across the table. So I think it's a two-way dialogue that I have here every year and I have it with people who are in prominent positions in prominent companies around Melbourne. I can think of no better audience to come and speak to and test the idea on and get their feedback. So that's why I return to Williamson every year.